Okay, I just turned it on. Um, okay, so it's nice to finally see you again. Um, will you just introduce yourself and tell us where you are because it's gorgeous behind you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Gerald Nkusi and I, I, I'm from Uganda. Uh, right now I'm on top of uh, Lake Mutanda, one of the most beautiful lakes mm -hmm. in Uganda. Yeah, I would Are say in Africa, in Uganda it's the most beautiful. Yeah. Maybe. So, Are those little islands like on the lake behind you? Yeah, we have about 19 islands, but uh, wow. 15 are uh, big islands. Yeah. That's so cool. And is this where you grew up? Yeah, I'm born in about uh, five, five kilometers from the lake. Okay. Yeah, but this, is, yeah, but this is one of our projects. Yeah. Okay, that's so cool. Okay, so I have um, basically a group of backpackers who really, really want to travel to Africa and everybody is worried because of COVID. So can you give us like the update about Uganda? Are travelers coming? Do they have to quarantine when they come? Can, would you recommend backpackers to come right now? Yes, uh, uh, visitors have been coming Uganda, even within the Corona period, because uh, there was no lockdown for tourism. Mm -hmm. uh, since uh, most of the uh, the facilities and these uh, destination communities, since they were uh, having the standard operating procedures, so it's been safe. Uh, but of course, uh, uh, most of the visitors have been having like a COVID vaccination, and then also they do like a PCR test. Uh, okay. when they reach at the airport. So that has made it uh, easier for them to travel. Uh, but then also, of course, like the communities are prepared uh, for the visitors. So they make okay. sure that they work within the standard operating uh, procedures. Yeah. That's so good to hear. So you would say, yes, backpackers come to Uganda. Okay. Absolutely, awesome. yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, it's still cutting out on my end. I don't know what's happening. Can you hear me? Okay. I can hear you. I can hear you very well. Yeah. Okay. I'm hoping it's getting recorded. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna keep going. And then, um. So you do really cool stuff. I mean, I know you've been in tourism for a while, and then you use tourism to support your kind of like eco project. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So if backpackers come, they know how they can contact you and what they can do with you? Yeah, so uh, my company is uh, Adventure Africa. And uh, we, 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 we do the work we do to support conservation uh, in the destination communities. And so uh, once people travel with us or they do activities with us, then we are able to uh, support uh, our projects. So we have a food forest program, and the food forest program is where we engage the communities in improving the ecosystem through growing healthy food, so that uh, the communities can directly benefit from tourism, but then also be able to sustain uh, the, the, the environment, as well as uh, protecting the natural ecosystems around them, yeah. That's so cool. Okay, so it's Adventure Africa and it's Africa spelled with a K, but I will put the link to the website um, in yes. this video. Um, yes. Anyways, okay, well, basically backpackers know that they should go to Uganda and then contact you when they're there and they can be enjoying this view and not doing another lockdown in the, wherever they are now. <laughs> ah, I mean, uh, Uganda is very beautiful. There's so much, there's so much to do. From the rainforest to the savanna park, to the the volcanoes, to the beautiful lakes, the diverse cultures. It's amazing. The food, the people, the weather. Of course, weather standing out as number one. And then the rest is ama amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're making me jealous. Okay, well, I am going to tell everyone to come visit you. And thank you so much for hopping on this call and showing us the beautiful scenery behind you. Thank you, Val. Thank you.